Hello everyone. So we are back with this series of lectures on Puri Tara Rato and this is a 12th video in that series. In this we will discuss about different type of vegetations. This is a question aata hai mostly. And followed by that we will discuss about the criteria of infective endocarditis. Duke's criteria and what is the latest aya hai according to the latest ESC guidelines. And phir, what are the organisms, what are the most common organisms in IE. Okay. So stay with me till the end of this video. First of all, there are four types of endocarditis that we commonly see. So some may alag alag type of vegetation. Okay. Now, first one is rheumatic fever, which is endocarditis hota hai, uski vegetations. Then infective endocarditis, which is very important. Then we have NBT, that is non-bacterial thrombotic endocarditis and then we have Lipman's sac endocarditis. First of all, let us discuss about rheumatic fever. So the vegetation that we see in rheumatic fever are small, warts like, warty, firm and friable. Since they are firm, that's why embolization is uncommon here. They are usually present along the lines of closure of the wall. जहाँ पे भी कस्प अटैच हो रहे होते हैं, वहाँ पर जहाँ लाइंस क्लोजर होता है, लाइंस ऑफ अटैचमेंट होता है, वहाँ पे मोस्टली प्रेजेंट होती हैं। यूजुअली स्टेरिल होती हैं एंड सीन इन रिमेटिक आर्टिसीज। एस यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेज, द वेजिटेशंस आर अटैच्ड एट द लाइन ऑफ क्लोजर, द वेजिटेशंस आर वेरी Mostly non-sterile, they are full of bacteria. Embolization is very common here. So, once embolize, okay, it can go into the brain and cause stroke. It can go into the spleen and cause splenic abscess. Okay, and seen in infective endocarditis. So this is the vegetation of eye. Very large, friable. Here, yeah, so two, two embolize. Okay, and as you can see, it is itself causing the rupture of the papillary muscles and body. Okay. Then we have NBT, non-bacterial thrombotic endocarditis. They are mostly small, warty and friable. They are also present along the lines of closure, uh, similar to rheumatic fever and is trial. But embolization is more common here because they are seen in cancers like AML, yes, stomach cancer, yeah, pancreas cancer. So since they are present in cancers, so they are more prone for embolization. Then we have, this is the image of NBT. They are also present along the lines of closure. Okay. Then we have Lipman sac endocarditis, which is seen in rheumatic diseases like SLE. They are medium sized, flat, and irregular. They are present on the both surface of the wall. The question is that both surface of the both surfaces of the walls may concede vegetation. Mil sakti hai. Mostly sterile. Embolization is uncommon. Okay, as we can see here, this image is a little कि ये इस साइड प्रेजेंट है और जब हमने इसको टर्न किया तो ये इस साइड भी प्रेजेंट है तो बोथ साइड ऑफ द वॉल ओके सो इट इज लिबेंस एक एंडोकार्डिटिस नाउ 2023 में यूरोपियन सोसाइटी ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी ने न्यू डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया निकाला आई का इट इज समवट सिमिलर टू आवर ओल्ड ट्यूक्स क्राइटेरिया बट फ्यू फ्यू माइनर चेंजेस आर देयर दैट वी हैव टू कीप इन माइंड और मेजर द बेसिक क्राइटेरिया हमारा वो तो हमें याद होना ही चाहिए ओके so, वो तो कॉमन रहेगा कुछ एडॉन्स हैं सो डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली एक क्वेश्चन आता है अल्टरनेट इयर्स में ऑन ड्यूक्स क्राइटेरिया या आई का क्राइटेरिया या फिर ऐसे व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट या नॉट करेक्ट करके दे पुट ऑप्शंस ऑफ दीस क्राइटेरिया ओके सो मेजर क्राइटेरिया इन मेजर क्राइटेरिया वी हैव ब्लड कल्चर पॉजिटिव फॉर आई इज वन मेजर क्राइटेरिया अब ब्लड कल्चर पॉजिटिव कब बोलेंगे जब Typical microorganisms, which includes either oral streptococci, yes, strep galactocus, hessek group, strep aureus, or enterococcus. In pancho mein se koi bhi bacteria agar milta hai, in two separate blood cultures, then it is a major criteria. Other than that, microorganisms jo consistent hai AI se, other than these five, okay? उनमें या तो दो ब्लड कल्चर पॉजिटिव मिले मोर देन 12 आर अपार्ट क्या फोर हमने ब्लड कल्चर भेजा उसमें से थ्री पॉजिटिव मिले 
with first and last samples drawn more than one hour apart. The width is a major criteria. Yeah, for coxella brunetti, single positive blood culture, yeah, IgG antibody titer of more than 1 is to 800. Okay. This is a major criteria. So, blood culture positivity is one major criteria. Just my sub categories are these. Then we have imaging positivity. So, as we all know, echocardiography, I don't know echocardiography, I vegetation, the kind of onset regurgitation, that is one thing. Other than that, cardiac CT, FDG PET, yes, PET. This is an add on. In sub maybe kind of vegetation on the wall, then it is a major criteria. In minor criteria, they are almost the same. We should have a predisposing condition like predisposing rheumatic heart disease. Your patient is a IV drug abuser. Okay. Then fever defined as temperature of more than 38 degrees Celsius. Then we can have embolic phenomena like systemic or pulmonary emboli. Okay. Yeah, abscesses when they pay. Yeah, you have hematogenous osteoarticular septic complications. Mycotic aneurysms can be there, intracranial ischemic or hemorrhagic lesions, conjunctival hemorrhages, and JNV lesions. These are embolic phenomena. Immunologic phenomena are glomerulonephritis, osteal nodes, growth spots, and rheumatoid factor. Okay, so I have said that you can't do anything. So, immunological phenomena are the same. But the same thing is that embolic and immunological are the same. ROG. R is a rheumatoid factor. Roth sports, OSA, OSA, not G6 global okay. Then microbiological evidence, which fulfill not the major criteria. Ko. Mala, suppose one blood culture is positive, or yeah, an organism gaya, which is not typical of I, okay? then it is the minor criteria. Ab, definitive I, when two major criteria are positive, ho, yeah. one major plus three minor, or three, five minor criteria. Okay. Now, you'll Tell me in the comment section ki what is the most common cause of native wall eye, what is the most common cause of early prosthetic wall eye, and what is the most common cause of late prosthetic wall eye. Okay. And what is the most common valve involved in eye? All the best, please. Keep going.